Hello there mandolin players, Magnus here, and in this video the excellent mandolin instructor Hayes Griffin will show you how to play one of my favorite tunes. And in Mandolin Secrets Academy you find sheet music, tabs, a play along track and some more instruction on how to play this song. And if you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe because we have new videos like this coming out every week. And a little tip, hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. Here we go. Thanks so much for that great introduction, Magnus. And I am so happy to be a part of the Mandolin Secrets community now. It's uh, my pleasure to be here teaching you this tune that actually comes from my home region, the Ohio River Valley. This tune is titled Big Scioto. There's a river that runs through central Ohio and on down into West Virginia called the Scioto River. Um, some people call this tune Big Scioti with a Y at the end, um, but Ohioans will say it Big Scioto, uh, like a U-H. <laughs> um, so before I go ahead and try and teach you this tune, let's just hear what it sounds like, okay? So this is one of my all-time favorite tunes to play, and I think it's kind of essential these days for any uh, mandolin player or person that plays American fiddle tunes. It's become a bit of a standard over the last couple of decades, um, largely thanks to a great record that came out, um, I believe in the late 80s, from Jerry Douglas, Russ Berenberg, and Edgar Meyer. The title of that record is Skip hop and wobble and they played this tune on there and ever since people have been jamming it at festivals and and parking lot picking circles and all kinds of things um, and it's really taken off so why don't we go ahead and dive into the a part here i'm gonna play it really slow all the way through so you can follow along on that pdf of the sheet music and tablature one two three So let's go ahead and dive into the B part, taking those pickup notes from the second ending of the A part. One, two, three. And one thing you might be noticing now, the last two measures of the B part are actually the exact same as the last two measures from the A part, um, except for the pickup notes, right? Um, so it's, it's fun to notice those kind of things. Uh, I like to think of them as small victories because that means when you learn the first, uh, when you learn the A part, the last two bars of the A part, you've actually already learned part of the B part. So you don't have to... Uh, um, learn any extra material at that point. It gets reused. Isn't that kind of cool? Let's go ahead and if you've been following along the whole time and feel pretty comfortable, you can you can play along with me now. But I'm going to turn on that backing track and then we're going to play the entire tune with all of the repeats. So uh, join in if you can, okay?
Thank you so much, Hayes. As I said, this is one of my favorite fiddle tunes. And if you want to simplify the learning process, make sure you go to Mandolin Secrets Academy to get the sheet music, the tabs, the backing track and some further instructions. And please leave a comment. We would be very happy to know if you like to play songs like this on your mandolin. And as always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and I hope to see you in a new video soon. Bye for now. Thank you.